going to be breaking down an entire roadmap that can get you from zero to $25,000 per month with your service-based business. Now I'm going to be taking you from being a complete beginner working with zero clients to a high level six-figure servicepreneur working with multiple high ticket clients every single month and break down the exact steps that you should follow in order to get there in a couple of months time. Now I wish that this video was available when I first started out my marketing agency almost three years ago now because what I'm about to share with you is the literal steps that you should take in order to become a six-figure servicepreneur. Now, this roadmap is going to be broken down into several different steps, starting from an array of skills that you can choose and master, how to then take those skills and offer them as a service, how to then get your first ever video testimonials and case studies, and then how to use those video testimonials and case studies and leverage them to get high ticket paying clients on command. This can literally take any beginner out there to a high ticket servicepreneur in a matter of months and all you need to do to make this happen is to simply take action so without further ado let me actually show you this roadmap so in this video today i'm going to be breaking down the exact roadmap that you need to follow in order to become a six-figure digital servicepreneur right so this can be you literally on the picture on a different mind state level state growth state and so on so make sure to watch all the way to the end of the video in order to understand how myself and thousands of other people are able to sell their services to businesses and earn a six figure income every single month now before we begin i want you to understand this we are going to be selling a service not a product you need to focus on being able to deliver your service in the best way possible and your service needs to be correlated with a positive outcome for your clients whether it's saving them time making them more money saving them money or saving them the effort to do something and the better you are at what you do the more money you are going to make there's a direct correlation with your skill level to how much income you make because if you are able to actually deliver a result for your client, whether it's by saving them time, saving them money or increasing their income or saving them the effort, then you are essentially just going to earn more income, right? It's just the law and the way it works. So what skills do you need to learn, right? We have different subsections for different skills, whether it's the top of funnel traffic, whether it's converting the traffic and the backend stuff that a business uses, right? For the top of funnel, you can learn content, production, editing, posting, content strategies, SEO, paid ads, landing page and web development, email list building, copywriting, appointment setting, cold emails, upselling and cross-selling, cold DMs, right? For the conversion side of things, you can learn sales, email marketing, conversion rate optimization, building up sales funnels, setting up DM bots, training setters and deploying them into businesses, DM closing, community building, newsletter building, ad creative strategy, online reviews and management, and for the back end, which usually focuses on saving the business effort and time, you can install AI infrastructures, do some back end management, do some automations, do some accounting, recruit people, CRM management, and software development. Right? What I would suggest you do, right, as a skill is go for the top of funnel and conversion skill sets, right? Because this directly correlates with how much money your client makes. And the more money you are able to make for your client, the more you are going to make yourself, right? Because making money for someone else will inevitably lead you to making more money yourself. You can do the backend stuff. The backend skills usually mean that there's a longer retention rate with your clients. So if you're focusing or if your business model would focus on retaining clients for as long as possible, you can go with that as well. It's the backend stuff, the basic management uh, stuff on a retainer. But I would suggest go for the skills that make your clients more money because you can charge way, way more for this stuff as well. Now, once you pick a skill that you want to learn, that you want to provide for your clients, you now need to be able to get good at this skill before you can start working with clients, right? This is the step most people skip. They think that they can just pick a service and go ahead and start charging clients thousands and retainers. And this is why a lot of agencies tend to fail, right? Because they sign clients, 
they don't know how to deliver their service and then their clients end up leaving them and then they get a bad reputation for their agency, right? So you need to at least get minimally viably good, right? You need to have a good understanding of your service before you can offer it to your clients, right? So in order to be able to do this, right? In order to be able to get good at the service that you're providing, don't read books, right? Books, they're great for some things, but you can learn way, way faster on YouTube, right? On YouTube and tons of other different methods, right? You want to be able to understand the basics of the service. You want to then break down the service into subsections and then study the subsections from most important to least important, right? So where do you get this information? You, you can go on YouTube, literally just search up your service or the skill that you want to master and actively study the YouTube videos rather than just watching them, All right? Because most of you will think that practicing your skill or getting good at your skill or service, you just watch a bunch of YouTube videos and you suddenly become a master. You need to actually be able to sit down, right? Consume a YouTube video that teaches you how to provide a particular service and take notes. Right, take notes, whether it's on your Google Doc, whether it's on your Notion, whether it's on a journal, just like this. Just actively learn, actively practice, and actively just consume and understand the uh, concept right, of the service or whatever uh, the YouTube video is trying to teach you. So yeah, take notes and understand the concept. Now, as a bonus, right, if you want to speed up the process, you can find a lot of courses these days on specific skills, right? You can go on school.com, you can go on Twitter or X, and you can find mini courses and just save up some money and buy that course, right? You don't have to go for the high ticket ones, for the ones that sell for $1,000, $2,000. Just find the ones that are $150, $200 or on school.com, there's so many communities these days that charge you like $99, $50 per month to learn a particular skill. Right. So you want to join those communities, engage with the members, go through the course material, actually start to understand what they're trying to teach you rather than passively learning. You want to actively learn the things that they're trying to teach you, engage with the members, ask questions and make sure that you um, understand the skill or the service. Right. So once you're doing all this, when do you actually know when you can start getting clients? Like when do you actually sit down and think to yourself, okay, I'm viably good at the service now, now I can get clients, right? And the way you know this is once you can explain the skill to someone, right? Once you can explain how you can get someone from point A to point B, right? You can also create a fake scenario, right? How would you scale a business to X and break down the exact steps that you would take to do that, right? What's your methodology, right? What's your service? What are the different things that you would have to do for the client in order to get them from point A to point B, right? So create a fake scenario where you can ask ChatGPT or you can do it yourself. Create a fake scenario and literally just step-by-step step break down every single thing that you're going to do for the client in order to get them from point A to point B, right? And this is how you know that you are minimally viably good uh, to start offering this service to real businesses and real people. Now, how do you actually get clients? If you are just starting out, you are going to be working for free. Simple as that. But keep in mind that the transaction here is not with money, but with experience and a testimonial and case study, right? So essentially you are working for free because you're not earning the money from your client, but you are earning experience. You are gonna be able to put everything that you've learned into practice, into real uh, case scenario. And if you are actually good, right? And you get the client the results, you will get a nice juicy testimonial or case study, right? And trust me on this, it's so much better to have your own case studies rather than leveraging other people's case studies, right? It's just so much better to have your own, right? Because again, as I said, your income is directly correlated with how good you are at servicing your clients. And if you are able to get your clients results and they're able to give you testimonials and case studies, it's just going to make you so much more confident. So, I want you to work with three to four clients for free, but make sure before you start working with them that you tell them that you expect a video testimonial after you provided them with the outcome, right? Because these days, screenshots of case studies, they're okay, right? Everyone can get case study screenshot, literally everyone, right? And it's also easy to fake, 
right? As sad as it sounds, it's easy to fake. But having video testimonials of actual people talking about how amazing you are is so much better, right? It's just so much more powerful than just a simple ads manager screenshot that you got from your media buyer, right? So delay your gratification of earning money and work on getting some free clients to build up your portfolio to have your video testimonials because you can then leverage those video testimonials in your sales process and your appointment setting process and it will just make this whole thing way way easier for you now how do you actually get free clients now it's simple right because you're literally working for free now you're not taking any payments so you don't need mass outbound for this you simply just need to dm people on linkedin on instagram and facebook and you need to do this manually. Don't try to automate this because trust me, like you'll be able to get your first three, four clients for free in a matter of two weeks, right? Three weeks maximum, right? Because you're working for free. So what I want you to do is go on LinkedIn, go on Instagram, go on Facebook, join Facebook groups, uh, search up Instagram hashtags and keywords of your target audience, go on LinkedIn as well, join LinkedIn groups and just message people and basically ask them if you are able to work for free uh, for them to get them a particular outcome, right? You can also like their post. You can comment on their post, right? And do it for five to six days until they respond back to your engagement. And then you can hit them in the DMs and it will mean more likely that they will respond back to you, right? So join LinkedIn groups, find people on LinkedIn, find people on Instagram, find people on Facebook, engage with their stuff, like their posts, comment on their stuff, right? Do this for five, six days until they respond back to your engagement and then you can hit them up on the DMs. Now, how do you actually hit them up? Right? Keep your message super casual and lead with a compliment and a question. And you wanna engage them in a conversation and once you feel like they are warmed up to you, you can then simply be upfront and ask if they're willing to work with you in exchange for a testimonial, right? Show them how hungry you are and that you're going to do anything you can to get them the outcome that they're looking for, right? And do this until you get three to five clients under your belt. And once you get three to five clients, stop everything else that you're doing and purely focus on getting them their results. Now, this will take you one to two months, depending on how good you are at delivering your service. But trust me, it will be so worth it once you get those video testimonials rolling through. And once you get those video testimonials, you can then make a funnel, create a VSL, and upload the testimonial videos under that VSL and basically have the funnel linked to your YouTube videos, linked to literally anywhere else that you're using to outreach later on, right? On your Instagram bio, literally anywhere. Just put your funnel in as many places as possible. People can go on there, watch your VSL, see what your offer is about, watch some video testimonials that you've got from those three to five clients as well. Now, the funnel structure is simple. You simply just want to call out your audience, present your offer, put your VSL, put your calendar link, and then put the testimonials, right? You can join the free community that I have. It will be in the comment section down below, and I have a whole module on how to create your VSL funnel. And so make sure to join and walk through that in order to be able to uh, create your own funnel. So once you have video testimonials, you now know that you are confident in delivering your services. And now you have leverage over other agencies out there, right? Because not a lot of agencies can have a video testimonial, like most of them have screenshots, but screenshots can be easily faked and prospects know that, right? So you now have leverage. Now, how do you actually get paid clients, right? Once you are confident in your service, once you have video testimonials, how do you get paid clients? Since you have worked with them, right, for one to two months, you now should have an understanding of their experience, their pains and problems, their dream outcomes, and what they're actually looking for in an agency partner. And you can use this information to now create your offer. Now your offer, I've put in Alex Hormozzi's diagram here, right? It's dream outcome times perceived likelihood of achievement divided by time delay times efforts and sacrifice equals value, right? Your offer is not your service. Your offer should showcase the value of working with you right? What would the business owner get by working with you? So for example, let's look at a Facebook ad agency for home improvement companies. Let's say the dream outcome is 
right? Qualified appointments with homeowners who want to do the project soon and, you know, they want to keep their team busy. Proceed likelihood of achievement. You can leverage your video testimonials. Time delay. How long will it take? How long did it take you to for you to achieve results for your free clients, right? So how much time will it take for your clients to see results? Effort and sacrifice. You know, what does the business owner have to do in order to see the results? And now we can move on to building the offer. So for example, the structure is as follows. We will dream outcome in the next time frame without you, effort and sacrifice or risk reversal, all with our unique mechanism, right? So we will guarantee 30 qualified appointments with hungry homeowners um, in the next 30 days without you having to run ineffective Facebook ads, do any cold calling, rely on referrals, work with window shoppers, or we will simply not get paid. All with our marquee system or all with our AI appointment system, right? Unique mechanism, right? So don't say Facebook ads, but just create a unique system that gets your clients from point A to point B and pitch that unique mechanism. Don't pitch Facebook ads themselves, but pitch that unique mechanism. Now, the variables in your offer are as follows. The dream outcome, the time frame, effort and sacrifice, unique mechanism. And you will actually need to know these in order to then start testing your offer to a mass market. And this brings me to my next point, your outbound deployment system. So you wanna pick one to start off with. Don't start going to cold emails, cold DMs, cold calling and trying to do all this at once because you're gonna spread yourself short and you're never ever going to get a system to work. Right, so start with one and understand and become a master of one before becoming a master of other systems. So how do you actually get good? Again, you wanna do research, right? Don't read books, just simply do YouTube searches, Google searches, right? Understand the basics of the systems, break down the system into subsections, study the subsections from most important to least important, right? Get your information on YouTube, join mini courses in school, right? Low ticket courses, join communities, engage with members and ask questions, right? Now, in terms of softwares that you can use, for cold emails, you can use instantly.ai or SmartLead. For cold DMs, you can use colddms.com, right? So it's a great software to automate the cold DM side of things on Instagram. And as for leads, you can scrape them on Apollo, Google Maps or Growman extension on Instagram. It looks something like this here. Now the process is as follows, right? In order to start running your outbound system, you wanna set up all your sending accounts, right? Whether it's on cold emails, whether it's on cold DMs, so many videos out there on YouTube on how to go about sending, uh, setting up sending accounts. So make sure you go ahead and watch that. You wanna then warm them up for two weeks to make sure that we stay under the radar and we don't get blocked, we don't get restricted, we don't get put into spam. And then after two weeks, you wanna begin testing. Right, And what you test is essentially your main offer, a lead magnet, a service lead magnet, or a video lead magnet, right? And basically see what works best. Now the main offer is essentially your offer here, right? And the different variables within this, right? So can you increase the dream outcome? Can you shorten the time frame? Can you, you know, make it as your clients will have to put in less effort and sacrifice? Can you change your unique mechanism, right? Test these variables if you're testing the main offer. Now the lead magnet stuff is basically providing upfront value, right? Such as a guide, a content asset that they can consume and you know gain value through it. Like what do they actually want, right? You gotta think of it this way. What, what would they actually need and what do they actually want? And then you can create a lead magnet from there, such as a Google Doc guide on how home improvement businesses can pack their calendars with qualified quotes. You can also have a service lead magnet where you say, listen, I'll set up the system for you. You can try it out for two weeks. And if you like it, we can continue working together. If you don't like it, you know, we can part ways. Or a video lead magnet, which is a hidden VSL. Basically, you approach people and you say, hey, uh, we just got 30 qualified appointments for this home improvement business. Can I send you a quick five minute video to show you how we were able to do that, right? And then whoever asks for the video, you send them the video and then you try to book them into the appointment. You want to establish your KPIs, right, for your tests. So usually your KPIs are as follows, 
right? For cold emails, 0.5% to 1% appointment booking rate, 4% positive response rate, and 5% uh, response rate, right? In terms of volume, you wanna be sending 200 to 500 cold emails per day and 50 DMs per day minimum. And then you wanna iterate your campaigns until you reach these KPIs, right? And you wanna track all your data so you can then use that data to iterate, right? Most people make the mistake of just building up their campaigns and then just spamming their campaigns and then just, you know, not really following a nice structured testing process, right? You wanna avoid that. You wanna start up your campaign. You wanna let the campaign run for a certain amount of time and to reach out to a good number of leads. And then you wanna track your data in a Google sheet and then read your data and then make a decision on what you should iterate based on that data. And then once you found a winning campaign, you wanna essentially increase your volume, right? So for example, let's say campaign one is getting us an appointment booking rate of 0.5%. If we're sending a thousand emails, we are getting five appointments. Now to scale this up, we simply need to send 10,000 emails and we get 50 appointments. Let's say our close rate is 10 to 15%. That's three to five clients every single month through this outbound system, right? So you wanna keep testing, keep iterating until you are able to reach your KPIs. And once you reach your KPIs, you essentially just wanna scale your inputs, right? And you will get more outputs uh, in return. You wanna close three to five clients and save your cash, right? Save your cash. Don't buy any Rolexes. The first year of my journey, I did not spend anything on anything. Like I did not buy materialistic stuff. I did not spend that money. I literally just saved all my cash. I didn't buy any fancy Rolexes, any fancy watches. I just saved. Because you wanna build up a bank that you can use to then later on run paid ads in order to scale even quicker, right? So save at least $5,000 that you don't mind burning or spending. And this brings me to my last point on how to actually scale your service-based business and become a six-figure servicepreneur. You wanna run ads, simple as that. All the businesses do it, all the big agencies do it. That's essentially how you're able to pay for clients, right? So I, when I run ads, I spent $30,000 on running Facebook ads. My cost per acquisition was around $750 to $800, right? So that meant for every $750 I spent, I'm, you know, acquiring a client that pays me $2,500 every single month, right? And this is how these agencies are essentially able to predictably and profitably acquire clients. So you wanna run ads on Facebook or on YouTube, right? Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube. Once you have a proof of concept for your offer from your outbound efforts, you wanna take that and replicate it into your ads as well, right? Because you already have a proof of concept that something works and something gets people's interest, you then wanna replicate it into your ads. Mm -hmm. The main thing you test in your ads is your ad creatives and your ad copy. All right, you wanna keep the funnel the same, don't really change anything. Just test your ad creatives and your copy, All right? And you wanna aim for a 50 to $100 cost per book call and a 500, 700 or $1,000 cost per acquisition, All right? These are your KPIs. And once you're at your KPIs, you simply wanna keep increasing the budgets from the new clients that you're bringing on and reinvesting some of that money back into your paid ads. And over time, your budget is going to grow, 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 grow until you're spending mass amounts of money on running ads and you're able to acquire clients on a predictable basis. So yeah, this is literally how you become a six-figure digital service preneur, right? This is the exact roadmap that you should take right now in order to start making money through your service. Right, so please, please don't skip this video. Don't go on to watch more SMMA videos. Save this video. Literally, I want you to download this video, right? And keep re-watching it and understand what I'm talking about here and understand the steps that you should take, right? And once you understand, I want you to then actually take the action because I'm not sharing this with you for the fun of it. I'm sharing this with you because I want to see you guys win, right? So please make sure to take the action. So yeah. If you found value in the video, you know, make sure to subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like. If you have any questions, make sure to comment down below. I will leave my free community link where you can gain access to my VSL modules in the comment description as a pinned comment. And I am currently taking on five 
agency owners and coaching businesses that want help in scaling. So make sure to find my calendar link in my YouTube description if you wanna work with me. I don't wanna pitch you or anything, it's up to you, but my calendar link is there if you wanna um, speak one-on-one -on -one with me. So yeah, this has been Six Figure Digital Servicepreneur and I'll see you guys on the next one.